Hi, everybody. Dr. Howe here. Uh, welcome to a brief introduction to EN 102, Composition 2 at Marymount University. I'm just going to take a little bit of time in this um, video PowerPoint to kind of go over some of the things we're going to be doing in class, some of our goals. So the course description is something that uh, I definitely want everybody to be aware of when you get a syllabus for a course, uh, when you're looking at what the course is going to cover on your um, course schedule or Marymount. Uh, so the course description for EN 102 will also be on your syllabus. Um, and 102 is the second of two courses in the university writing requirement for graduation. So uh, you will all have taken EN 101. Uh, now we're engaged in EN 102, Composition 2, where EN 101 focused on uh, summarizing, writing about, understanding, and doing some research using popular sources, okay, magazines, and so on. Uh, EN 102 will focus on the kind of writing that you need to participate effectively in academic discussions. Okay. So we're primarily going to be focused on uh, writing for an academic audience using academic sources and so on. Okay. Um, it will also explore topics that relate to writing studies. Uh, and what this means is that we'll be actually looking for one of the projects in this course at how students use sources in academic contexts. So we'll be doing some reading uh, by academics who specialize in this kind of work. Uh, and you're gonna be reading them. We're gonna be talking through them. You're gonna be summarizing them. You're gonna learn how to deal with longer academic sort of materials that are focused specifically on subjects of academic interest like writing studies. And uh, you're gonna be writing your own position essay using those materials. So um, we're gonna be exploring some topics, specifically source use in writing studies. Um, and we're also going to be working with uh, the kind of reading, writing, critical thinking, and research that you'll need to uh, think through other kinds of issues like dealing with primary literary texts, historical texts, and so on. So the course will culminate in a position essay that contributes to an academic discussion of a topic. Uh, we're going to be using our uh, primary source material for the term and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later and once the class begins. Um, so you need a C minus to graduate, uh, to pass this class. Um, you need a C minus to graduate uh, in EN 101 and in EN 102. This is part of the um, university requirements for uh, Marymount in um, writing. So some of the other outcomes and goals that we have, the things that you're going to be learning about in this class are how to accurately read, summarize, and analyze academic sources, like I said a little bit earlier. Um, you're going to learn how to critically evaluate information. You're going to learn how to use information honestly and effectively. Um, and this is going to be the subject both of our second project on writing studies, as well as something that you'll be incorporating throughout the entirety of the term. Uh, you're also going to continue learning how to and practice writing with focus and purpose for a specific academic audience and some of the writing conventions that are associated with that. Uh, you're going to really um, bring home the idea that writing is a flexible process. It's not, not something that you can do well just sort of by flipping a switch, putting something down on a page and turning it in, leaving it. Um, Writing can be a um, very, very powerful way to express your point of view. And that point of view often comes into being through dialogue, through debate, thinking about it, rethinking, and uh, really coming to understand what it is you, you are seeing and what it is you, uh, you think about any subject. So writing is a flexible process. It involves brainstorming. It involves drafting. It involves getting some feedback and then revising and then uh, and then working through that process as, as long as necessary before you feel like you have, um, you know, something that is provisionally, at least for this moment, um, finished. Okay, so we're going to learn more about writing as a flexible process, uh, and I'll speak a little bit more about that in, in a moment as well. Um, and finally, and this is something that you're going to be doing overall over the course of the entirety of the term is practicing analytical discourse, critical reasoning and problem solving. So how do I, how do I analyze um, a text? How do I think critically about it? How do I reason um, through my reading and my thoughts about it so that others can come to see from my point of view or from another point of view? 
Okay. How do I solve problems that are related to textual analysis or research or writing? Okay. How do I come up with interesting topic ideas? How do I follow them through with my research? How do I adapt my research uh, based on the things that I've discovered um, and that may make me think a little bit more differently about the subject that I'm looking at? So outcomes and goals for EN102. So the major projects that we're going to be doing for this term, and this is the case for um, all EN102s, at Marymount, there are four major projects, each of which, um, with the exception of project three, are worth 15% of your overall grade each. So the first project will be textual and literary analysis. And this is uh, going to be something that we'll keep coming back to throughout the rest of the, the term. So we're going to be working with one primary source text. You're going to be looking very closely at it, how it functions as a piece of writing uh, to convey certain themes and ideas. Uh, you're going to be writing your own um, textual analysis essay there. Uh, the midterm essay exam will be also a literary analysis. So you'll be doing the same thing in at, for the midterm exam as you did for project one. Okay, So just kind of keep that in mind um, as we're, we're doing that work. Project two, this is the um, sort of writing studies component of the class. We will be doing a position essay on student source use. So we'll be reading a variety of, of academic articles on student source use, um, how students read, how students revise, how students think about sources uh, and so on. These are academic articles um, written by professionals in the discipline. And you're gonna read through those. We're gonna talk about them and you are going to come up with your own position using your own also personal experience um, about source use. And uh, that will be the subject of project two. Project three and four are related. And now at this point, we're going back to the subject that we did at the beginning in project one on our primary source material. Uh, you're going to be doing an, an evaluative annotated bibliography for 20% of your overall grade um, in which you uh, research, you come up with your own research topic and uh, you prosecute that research on a topic that's related to our primary source uh, material from project one. So uh, we'll talk more about that in class, but you're going to be doing an evaluative annotated bibliography, which you have done before in EN 101, but now you're going to be using academic sources. Uh, and project four is related to that. It's you having taken all of that information from your uh, research in project three and crafting your own research to position essay using those academic sources. And um, project four will, projects three and four will be the subject of your final exam. So the final exam is not uh, an exam in the typical sense of the, the term. Instead, Everybody in EN 102 will be participating in a kind of mini um, academic conference about uh, the material that you've worked with in EN 102. Um, we'll have presenters, we'll have panel moderators, and we'll have audience members, and you will be uh, putting all of that together yourselves. Okay, and, and that's usually a really wonderful way to kind of close out the term. You get to see everybody else's uh, research over the course of the term and hear everybody else's ideas and what they've been learning about and researching uh, and thinking about. And uh, that will be your final exam for EN 102. And then another 10% of the grade is related to participation. And this will have to do with all of your um, in-class activities, homework assignments, and uh, workshopping, revision activities, and so on. Uh, so those are the major projects that we're going to be doing over the course of the term. And I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview there. Uh, before I leave you, um, a few things just to kind of keep in mind. Um, one, revision. You're going to be doing a lot of revision in this class. And it's helpful to keep in mind at the beginning of the, at the outset of the whole process that uh, revising means reseeing. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean just sort of making some minor tweaks to things like grammar or spelling. Um, instead, uh, what you're going to be doing is working on re-seeing your ideas. So revision occurs both on the global and the sentence level. Excuse me, um, both uh, sort of on the broader level of ideas and organization, thesis statements, um, your, your big ideas, right? And also how you're reading those individual pieces of evidence, for instance, um, but also on the sentence level. So things like writing style and grammar and so on, sentence structure. So um, so revision has to do both with those global large scale issues and on a sentence level, the local level. Okay? And essays may not be accepted if they haven't gone through a, a real revision process that goes beyond those minor tweaks for grammar. 
the other thing I wanted to mention uh, before I leave you, uh, just to kind of have you keep in mind for the rest of the term, uh, is about plagiarism and source use. Um, you may not know, but plagiarism is a word that derives from a very old Latin word meaning kidnap. Um, so a plagiarist is someone who kidnaps other people's words or ideas. And in this class, uh, our second project is really going to look explicitly at academic writing and research about source use and how, how writers, how young writers use other people's ideas and words. Um, we're going to be practicing this throughout the term. And so that means that this term especially, uh, you know, I'm really looking to you to be sure that you don't inadvertently or deliberately kidnap another's words or ideas. Um, at this point, since we're doing so much work with this, I will be required to submit an academic integrity violation form. So I am just encouraging you to keep that in the forefront of your mind, okay? Um, no kidnapping of other people's words or ideas, okay? So uh, those are some of the um, important things that uh, I want you to kind of keep in mind for EN 102. And I look forward to seeing you all when the term officially starts. Um, I hope that you have a relaxing uh, last weekend and please remember to let me know if you have any questions or concerns at all, okay? Um, thank you very much.